Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> it's Alma so guys this happened this happened to me over the weekend I can't remember if I got it Friday or Saturday but this happened I love sunflower seeds to a fault and this package is a package of six servings five net carbs and I went to town on these guys I ate this in two and a half days I think yeah not good guys especially if you have Crohn's disease not good if you have self-control guys these are the best sunflower seeds out there just keep in mind that a serving is actually just a quarter cup of kernels so yeah not a good thing anyway enough of that I am eating out of my refrigerator and my freezer here's Daisy and uh, yesterday I made myself some wings for uh, dinner and so I am warming up three wings I also had made um, a skillet breakfast pizza frittata whatever you like to call it having a portion of that and this is for David um, I'm trying to clear out my freezer a little bit so I have my broccoli rice and cheese casserole from May 8th took that out of the freezer put it in these two containers they're gonna go in my air fryer and this will be our lunch slash dinner David may eat one of these for lunch and one for dinner we'll wait and see don't know if he's gonna do an OMAD don't know what his plans are but I am being prepared just in case so also guys here you go so my big giant cup you know how much I love that and you know that I'm doing my challenge for my one month it's today is the 11th so it's been 11 days of no artificial sweeteners and limited sugar alcohol stevia erythritol monk fruit and guys I have turned into a unsweetened tea freak I love it so I just put in my lime or my lemon. keep in mind that does add carbs but I have my drink maybe two little squirts of my stevia just like this and I'm done mix it up and I'm good to go love it love it love it never would have thought that I would have been able to give up my diet gold peak tea with tons of aspartame but love this and I think I just kind of feel like I'm still being um, spoiled a little bit by not having to brew the tea uh, maybe I'll get to that point I don't know but right now this is a great substitute so let me get to my our food warmed up I might be doing an egg fast tomorrow guys let me ask you a question on your egg fast please tell me um, what it is that you guys do do you have your first egg 30 minutes upon waking I've never done that maybe I should try but 30 minutes upon waking means I'm on the trail and I usually don't want to have anything on my in my stomach when I go on the trail so let me know how you guys handle that all right all right guys I think this is gonna wrap it up just kind of wanted to show you what our lunch might look like on a typical day I'll probably add a little bit of mayonnaise to this to up my fat a little bit same thing for David's um, and then that's it we should be doing a grocery haul this week a meal prep which I started this weekend and yeah guys that wraps it up be blessed bye bye thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you if you haven't already done so please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rind, pork rind, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.